Hello and welcome to the talk room. I'm Bansi Kalapa. Even as the Karnataka State Commercial Taxes Department has rejoiced that they have collected as on 31st of March 2022 a record 1 lakh plus crore rupees by way of GST, Karnataka sales tax, profession tax and other revenues, the ordinary industrialist, the ordinary businessman who was uh, going through a great deal of pain during the covid months has still not emerged they say out of pain so we have with us mr j krasta who's former president of federation karnataka chamber of commerce and industry also was heading khasia so mr krasta first question to you has the common industrialist has the common businessman emerged out of pain it is very true that uh, commercial tax department has collected 1 lakh crores for the present financial year up to march uh, 2022 but that 1 lakh crores mainly has come maybe due to one reason has an inflation and the second reason maybe because of the raw material price hike be it cement be it paper be it chemical be it steel the price has gone up by 40 to 140% so the price increase has not got the benefit for the our msmes msmes have already been contractual obligation through a tender or through a quotation wherein the customer doesn't give him the increase value of the raw material he says is your your headache so you have contracted and there is a tender and the confirmed price has been confirmed and you have to supply and by the fear of uh, the blacklisting they are supplied so what what has what happened the cost of manufacturing has gone up the product cost has gone up he is not getting that price the product cost gone up so he gets the his bottom line that is the profits are reduced whereas gst has been collected high so these are the uh, two reasons and the third reason is because of the oil price oil price internationally it was 85 dollars earlier which has now gone up to say 139 dollars so the oil price and the oil related all substitutes are gone up so due to which i think probably the collection of gst is in crore and the commissioner or commercial should not be happy it is because of the growth in the industry has happened but the growth is come because of the three reasons and uh, is uh, actually the real growth has not taken place yet probably present financial year there may be a growth whereas in this growth you find only the improving industry will have the growth whereas not the industry which is now fallen into npa my second question to you what is this sma rating because you have spoken of sma 1 2 3 what is this sma rating yeah so that npa what is happening is if at all three quarters of the ema is not paid to the bank his account becomes npa non performance asset and when the account becomes npa no banker will give any finance for any kind of industry mainly due to uh, because there are there are no provision there are no no government laws there is no there is no rbi guidelines if the account becomes npa they only say that you rehabilitate or uh, you do the restructuring but the manager or the bank they do not do restructuring because of the manager who restructures the loan tomorrow if the industry is not reviving and if it is gone the manager is held responsible so he is been hanged due to re, due to restructuring so simply what it is why should i take this kind of uh, liability and this kind of uh, headache so i simply declare npa so this is how a bank manager performs and in that kind of uh, whatever the covid loan which has been given after the after the pandemic is affected by, for the, the whole country here the 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 emergency covid loan gcl loan is given only to the industry those who are doing very good that is sma rating 1 and this npa on the after np after three quarter npa 2 uh, sma sma 2 so this 2 and 3 accounts no gsa loan is given and they are simply allowed to die down they say the businessman the industrialist was in so much of pain that the nation recorded about 11000 plus suicides uh, during the past period of time this was especially uh, entrepreneurs who had failed who had mostly run into business problems losses and they couldn't overcome it and even in the state of karnataka we saw about 1700 suicides what do you have to say correct so in, in the national level figure which has come about 11700 uh, entrepreneurs have committed suicide 
and in Karnataka about 1700 entrepreneurs have committed suicide. So why committed suicide? Mainly because when the account, is NPI account is not been rehabilitated, no, not restructured. Then what happens when the NPI is declared, the manager issues a notice under Surface Act and the entire account is made for auctioning. And his asset which has been given as a house, as a property, which where he is staying, that house comes for auctioning. So all his, all his wife and children will come on the road. He has no other house. The house where he is staying is, is, been, is been auctioned. And, and uh, uh, wife and children are meticulously thrown out. Then what happens with the entrepreneur? Entrepreneur has to commit suicide. This is why the suicides have been increased. Because of this NPA structure where there is no provision for rehabilitation. And if you, if you see that one farmer commits suicide, uh, you all know that it comes to the big headlines in the, all the papers and the TV media. Whereas here 11,700 uh, entrepreneurs have died in our country and in Karnataka about 1,700. In the paper it is a small clipping it has come. This kind of apathy we are going through in a small and micro enterprises. Now, Karnataka has been one of the nation's favorite investment destinations. Even as the state government is preparing for gym, another round of global investors meet and, uh, you know, fresh round of investments. What is the way forward? Yes, it is a million dollar question. Now, what is this? We require a, yes, we require a separate policy by RBI and the government, central government in the finance department that whatever the industry has become sick, and wherever, wherever the bank has declared NPA, there has to be a separate package, a rehabilitation package has to be declared right now. After the pandemic, if so many entrepreneurs are committed suicide, that means many are in the line. Many are in the line to get into NPA. So the NPA, if at all it has to be avoided, the government has to come out with a special package, especially for this kind of NPA account, which are in the SME uh, sector. Whereas in the large, medium and large scale, it is not much, because there what happens is acquisition and merger takes place, and he gets out right loyally, and the, and the owner of that medium and large scale industry is, is not been, his property is not been auctioned. His property auctioning, where the house where he stay, is only takes place in the micro and small enterprises. So the government has to come out very immediately for this present financial year, a package for rehabilitation of this kind of NPA affected entrepreneurs. Well, what we see is that the government, whether the state government or the central government, is happy to earn revenues from the ordinary businessman or the ordinary industrialist what are they doing for them in return when they are going through their difficult years? These are questions before us. With camera person Ashish, this is Bansi for the talk room.